Unity's Pro Builder is awesome. It allows you to quickly and easily create and edit custom 3D meshes right inside the Unity editor, much like this spaceship that I made right here that looks, well, let's just say it's a 2020. You know, maybe from 20 feet away and it's going 20 miles an hour, Hey, it looks kind of good, but it's entirely my fault that it looks that way and not Pro Builders. Anyways, I did want to talk about Pro Builder because I was using it to create some things for this sample project that you see playing behind me that I created with Unity's Entity Component System. And I did run into a little bit of an issue specifically when I was trying to spawn entities that were rendered using Pro Builder meshes. And when I first came across this, it confused the heck out of me and I spent way longer than I like to admit trying to figure out what the heck was going on. But luckily I did figure out a fix to it and it's a really simple one and I'm going to show you how to fix that now. By the way, the sample project that you see playing behind me is one that I created for a video that I have coming up that I'm really excited for. Um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to create a full project using Unity's data oriented technology stack um, all the way from beginning to end and everything in between. So definitely be on the lookout for that video very, very soon. Okay, so let's say in our game we want to shoot out these little golden ring shots from our ships. So we have this little golden ring which we created with Pro Builder. You'll see that if we look over in the inspector, we have all the standard Pro Builder stuff. We have the Pro Builder mesh filter, Pro Builder shape, and then we've also gone ahead and added some ECS stuff on there, like this physics shape. You also see that I have this shot authoring, which basically just moves this shot throughout our world. And then finally, we do have the convert to entity script because we want to, well, convert it to an entity. So if we just go ahead and hit the play button, you'll see that that ring just shoots right across the screen exactly as we would expect it to. And again, we can actually just go ahead and pause this and check out the dots hierarchy you do see that we have that donut shot sitting right in here and we have all the you know proper rendering components and everything that we would expect on there so now we say okay great we actually want to shoot these out of our ship so let's go ahead and make a prefab out of this so we can just simply take this donut shot and drag it over into our prefabs folder and then we can just go ahead and disable this donut shot thing for now because we don't actually need the one in our scene and then just go over to the game controller entity and then we'll just move this donut shot over into our shot prefab here. If you do want a little bit more information about spawning prefabs in Unity's entity component system, definitely go check out the video that I put out a couple weeks ago on the subject. I'll leave a link to that up in the card as well as in the description below. But anyways, now when we enter play mode, you'll see that we can now move around and we'll hit the space key to shoot and you'll see that, well, nothing is actually shooting. However, if we go say in front of one of these enemy ships, you'll see that our health starts going down. So it's like, what the heck is going on? And if we press space when we're in front of these enemies, we can actually seem to somehow destroy these enemies. So you see that over on our console, we have a little hint about what might be going on where it says renderer is not converted because either the assigned mesh is null or no materials are assigned. And unfortunately, we don't really get any information about like where this is coming from. It's just kind of like a random warning that pops up in the console. Now, if we look over in the dots hierarchy, you'll see something interesting. We have all these donut shots inside here. However, if we click on them, they actually don't have any of the rendering components. You know, they still do have the local to world, translation, rotation, and all that. Still does have a physics collider on them. So that explains why the ships in our game still can get hit by these shots, even though we can't actually see them. Now, from what I can tell, this basically just kind of seems to be a bug. So I wonder if this is something that's going to be fixed in a new release. But basically, there's quite an easy fix to this, actually. Let's just go ahead and delete this prefab that we have right here for the existing donut shot. And then we'll just go ahead and re-enable our original donut shot. Let's make sure it is selected. Now we'll go over to our Pro Builder Tools window. If you don't have this, you can just go over to Tools and Pro Builder, and it'll be the Pro Builder window here. And then the one that we're looking for is Export. And we can hit this plus button right here, and you'll see that it opens kind of a new little options panel. And you'll see that we can actually export this into a bunch of different formats. The one that we want right now is Prefab. So we're gonna export this as a prefab. We can just leave the uh, regular selections unchecked here. And we'll just go ahead and say Export export. It'll ask us where we want to export it. So let's just go ahead and put it into our prefabs folder. Now, if we go over into our prefabs folder, you see that we actually have a couple new things here. So we do have a mesh for the donut shot, and this is the actual pro builder mesh, but it's now a mesh asset. It's basically not like a pro builder mesh, but it's just a regular 3D mesh. Move that over into our regular meshes folder, just kind of for organizational purposes. And then you'll see the prefab here. Basically, this is all just set up, you know, kind of as you would normally expect um, with a mesh renderer and a mesh filter and this time we actually are referencing the donut shot mesh. You see that it still has, you know, the physics shape as well as the uh, shot authoring and convert to entity. So it has all the entity stuff still. However,
However, it didn't actually change anything to our original object. You know, if we click on this, we still have, you know, all the original Pro Builder settings in case we wanted to, you know, modify those for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and disable that regular game object. We'll go over to our game controller entity and drag in that donut shot for our shot prefab. So now when we enter the game, we can actually go ahead and shoot out these uh, donut shots, even though these actually look maybe a little bit more like Cheerios from this kind of view. So it's, um, you know, some kind of breakfast food one way or another. Um, but you see, we can, of course, you know, nice and easily aim for different uh, enemy ships and hit them. And of course, they can still hit us and our health goes down and everything like that. So that's basically the fix to this issue. Again, it's pretty easy. We just kind of convert it to a prefab. Um, but I did just want to show you something else. You know, what if now we all of a sudden we want to shoot pitchforks instead of these donuts? So we've created this, you know, awesome pro builder pitchfork that we spent all kinds of time on. Um, and we don't actually want to like go ahead and go through the process of, you know, adding all the proper components to this and converting it to a prefab and yada, yada, yada. Well, actually there was one thing nice and easy that we can do here. Come over to our pro builder window. Again, we'll go ahead and hit this plus button to open the export settings. And this time we're just going to go ahead and say export asset. So we'll say export. And then under here, we can go ahead and navigate to our meshes folder we'll go ahead and save this pitchfork asset. So you see that now we have this pitchfork mesh available to us. So that means we can now go to our prefab for the donut shot. And instead we'll just change the mesh filter over to our pitchfork mesh here. And now we'll enter play mode and you'll see now when we press the space key, we're shooting at these pitchforks and it even has the uh, same renderer that we had before, kind of that like yellow gold type color. Um, and all the enemies are shooting at these pitchforks as well. So anyways, that's just kind of what I wanted to show you that um, little interesting bug that I came across and basically how to resolve it in Unity's Entity Component System. Of course, if you did find this video helpful and enjoyable, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. By the way, once again, stay tuned for this video that I have coming out. There's gonna be an introduction to Unity's Dots and ECS where I'm creating this cool little bullet hell project that you see um, playing throughout this video. Anyways, with that, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Hey.